and you start out in Photoshop, you create a new file and you make sure that the size is 1024 by 1024 and you click create and the best way to test out if your map is working again you do you can just start off by a simple test where you use a simple brush to create a simple mountain like that just like the simple hill and then you save that as a Photoshop uh, raw file and you call it test hill you can call it whatever you want to and I'm just gonna save this here I'm gonna remove that P as, and then I'm going to go to um, unity click on my terrain go to my terrain settings go down here and click on import raw locate that file and I save that here and click open and it'll give you this you have to make sure that this is the right resolution like 1024 and 1024 click open and again of course I'm recording and it's not gonna work <laughs> Oh, it's because the height is very low, probably. Yeah, so I'm going to fix that to 500. Yeah, so you can see that now. And then you see like these weird lines in here to fix that. What you have to do is fix the height resolution over here, height map. It's in texture resolutions when you import this. If I lower this to 256 and resize, it starts to look a lot better okay so this is one way of testing out if your export is working right or not so once you're done doing that you can go back to Photoshop you can imp bring in the different images that you have say I want to use this image I'm gonna place that there and what I can do is I'm just going to move this here. Actually, let's just keep it centered. What? New black background. I'm going to turn this layer off. And then I'm going to move this over here and adjust the brightness and contrast of the layer that's directly below by clicking on this. So it tells you that this is the layer that you're do working on. And then you can either make it bright or you can increase this contrast to sort of get rid of those edges. And you can also get rid of these edges by creating a mask and painting on that mask using a soft brush. So if I were to paint, oh no, oops, right here. This is the layer that I want to create the mask for. Using a soft brush, just like blend in these edges. You know, so it's, it's not like a super straight line like that. Okay, so that sort of like helps us. Anyway, so once you have that, you can import other mountains too. You can duplicate the same mountain. And I'm going to rotate this. Oops. And probably have this up here. Wait. So I have another mountain right here move it down there probably but you can basically blend various uh, mountains together and then sort of create a valley if you want and then I'm going to create a brightness and contrast just for the layer below directly increase the contrast maybe a little brighter 
and then again remove the edges by using a soft brush around there and then I can move this further closer here and now if I were say I have like these two different mountains one is a smaller one they're gonna be about the same height ish but um, because the white represents the highest point but this is gonna be slightly lower than this one so we're gonna go to file save as and then again test two hills and we're gonna save this as a Photoshop raw and click save remove that P oh and this option when it says like I think this is when it asks like channels and stuff so I think you have to choose non inter I don't know interleaved order and then you click OK and then you go here go back to your terrain click on import and go to terrain and test two hills open import and then you have those roughly the same height I'm gonna reduce the height here say 350 so that it's not so intense and then I'm going to resize that and then you can see where I didn't blend do a good job blending right those lines so you can go back and fix those and then you can lower this by making it a little darker you can also lower this by going here and paint lower or raise height and then you hold shift and you can lower the height here like this if you want use a softer brush a brush size that's a little bigger and then shift and yeah so those are ways of like tweaking um, your terrain even more but it's better to do this in Photoshop so that you get the layers like a little better. But yeah. See how this is blending a little better? So if I were to lower this. So it doesn't give you as nice results as you would if you were doing this in Photoshop. So go back, and I think that's it. Um, now for recording, what do I do to stop recording? Oh, right click here. Stop.